Let's say you come to New Jersey, and, uh, you know, Tim, I don't know if you know, he auditioned for the Jersey Shore. He didn't get it. Um, Snooky didn't like Tim too much, so he didn't get in. But nonetheless, you go to the New Jersey, you go to the Jersey Shore, and lo and behold, you see Tim Garrity swimming in the Atlantic Ocean. All of a sudden, you see Tim drowning. So you're a nice person. You rush out. And you pull him to safety, you resuscitate him, and Tim says, I'm so grateful that you just saved my life, I promise to pay you $10,000. He gives you his name, his address, he signs it. The next day, you show up at his house and say, hey, Tim, remember me? I saved your life. Where's my $10,000? Tim, being the lawyer that he is, slams the door in your face and says, I'm not paying you anything. Because you made the pro he made the promise to you after you had already performed the act. So listen carefully. If you come to New Jersey and you see Tim Garrity drowning, do what I would do. Say, hey, it's pretty cool. I've never seen anyone drown before. So I take out my lounge chair. I start to videotape Tim Garrity drowning because I could probably sell that on the Internet. Now, as Tim's out there drowning, he screams out, hey, Pete, if you save me, I'll pay you $10,000. Now I'll drop my camera, rush out to save his life. Because now his promise was made to me before I performed the act. It induced me to perform the act. So now if I save him and he doesn't pay me the money, then I can su successfully sue him in court for breach of contract. Okay, so saving Tim, saving private Tim.